win, baby. Right now. Full win on three. One, two, three. Full win. For the sixth all-time appearance in a bowl game for Ohio University, it's Ohio and Utah State from Boise, Idaho. Kennedy's under center, turns, play fake, throwing left, it's caught, it's a touchdown at 3.39 to go for the first quarter. 8-0 Utah State. Second down at about four, ball at the 26. Throw to the right side, caught! It's Derek Roback and he made the catch and it's a touchdown for Ohio. It was Roback who spun around and he dived forward to knock the pylon down. Touchdown, Cats! Way to make a play! Great job! They'll just hand it off to get the first down and Smith breaks free. Between the left side numbers and the left sideline, he's down inside the 10, down to the 5, and he dives for the pylon and he's out of bounds. No, he's in. Touchdown, Utah State. It's an 8-point lead. It's 15-7. Handed off to Smith through a big hole and into the orange end zone. And the Yankees are on top by 12, 22-10. He can run, he will, 45-40, middle of the field, 35, dives forward to the 31. Ohio trails by 15. It's an option right, Tyler pulls it back, has lots of time to throw. Throws it for LeVon Brazil, and he leaps, and he made the catch! Touchdown, Cats! Oh, what a big time play! 23-16, you give Tyler that much time, and you give LeVon that much room, they're going to hook up every time. Is this going to be a historic drive? First and 10 ball at the Ohio 38. Tettleton has time. Sings it over the middle. It is caught. It's a first down. It's Riley Dunlop. 45 seconds left. Fourth down and six. Ball at the Utah State 14. Four wide receivers left and a wide out to the right. Big rush on. Tyler has time. Floats it over the middle of the field. It's caught. LeVon Brazil leads for the end zone. Did he get in? Levon caught the pass, was down at the six inch line. Tettleton's out of the shotgun, raises his leg and takes a snap, low snap, pulls it back, rolls over to the right side, on the run of the end zone, dies, touchdown Cats! Touchdown Cats! 13 seconds left! And Ohio just tied the game! Now for the most important extra point in Ohio University football history. We're tied at 23. Snap back, placement down, kick through, and it is good! Ohio leads 24 to 23 with 13 seconds left. Now on the run to the right side, there's blockers, there's no time left. Utah State back at the 40. Now he throws another pass back to the right sideline and it's intercepted and Ohio wins! Ohio wins! Ohio wins! For the first time in school history, Ohio University football has won a bowl game. The champions of the 2011 famous Idaho Potato Bowl, Ohio University football. The Cats win 24-23 over the Utah State University Aggies. as one of the greatest seasons in Ohio football history. 10 wins. From 24 yards away, snap back, placement down, kick through, and good! Ohio wins! Ohio wins! And Ohio beats the Eastern Division green and white. Multiple team and individual records. And the first bowl win in school history. To win the bowl game, that's definitely the highlight of my career, to know you know, as I was get, getting recruited, you know, that was one big major recruiting point was, you know, we're, if you come to Ohio University, we're going to win bowl games. And, you know, that was something that for four years we had been working towards and a long time before that, but to stand out on the field after the game and celebrate with our teammates, and that's a feeling that I'll never forget. 
it, it's something that will always be a part of me as I continue on my career path that I was once a player who is now in the history books of doing something that a school has never done. With the majority of their starters returning, the Bobcats find themselves in new territory for 2012, picked to finish first in the Mid-American Conference. You know, when you're picked to win the, the conference championship, things come at you at different angles uh, than they, they do if you're a middle of the road uh, team. Or as we were seven years ago, a team that was not supposed to be in contention for a, a, a championship. So it's good to be there. It's good that our program has moved forward and we're there. Uh, but there's a lot of things that got to get done to make that work. And the MAC Conference is an extremely challenging conference. Um, it's a conference that uh, almost any team in it can step up and uh, win it. You got to be ready to play every time you step on the football field against a MAC opponent or you're not going to win. And so there are huge challenges uh, ahead for us. But that's what athletics is all about, is uh, having challenges ahead and, and working to meet those challenges. This Ohio squad may have more potential than any other in school history, but everyone involved knows potential can only take you so far. Rest has to be earned. I think potential is always good. I think it's always good, but at the same time, you still have to work. And I think that that's something that I'm starting to realize and starting to see that I don't want our team to get complacent with we're supposed to win the MAC, we're number one in the MAC, we have potential to go this and that distance, and then they feel that they don't have to work. The work ethic still has to be the same. It still has to be a high-driven, dedication team at the same, same instance. So I think that we really have to continue to do things in a proper manner. We can't let the, the potential of things get in the way of our overall goals. We're the ones that got to come out here and perform, live up to those expectations. And, and you know, it's, it's a little motivation for sure because now we're not the ones chasing, we're the ones being chased. And that's, you know, it puts a little different twist on things as far as, you know, preparing week to week, you know, knowing that we're going to get everybody's best shot. And so we better be on our A game when we come out on the field. It's good to be rated where we're rated, but now it's time to step up and start playing the games one-on-one, -on -one, and everybody will obviously be pointing at us, and uh, there won't be a MAC team that will not be wanting to knock us off, and for uh, a lot of good reasons. One thousand miles from the brick streets of Athens lies Norman, Oklahoma, the home of the other OU in major college football, the University of Oklahoma. Three of the Bobcats' top offensive threats call the Norman area home. When they aren't in Athens for the summer, junior quarterback Tyler Tettleton, junior running back Bo Blankenship, and junior receiver Dante Foster can be found perfecting their skills before camp. Tettleton and Blankenship have a history that dates back to well before their time in the green and white. Uh, I've known Bo ever since, uh, you know, I was in little little league playing football, you know, growing up. How long have I known Tyler? Uh, since sometime in elementary school, and you know, we grew up. I played him in little league. I, I grew up knowing him and raced him in track meets and stuff, so I've known him for a long time. Uh, you know, he's always the target of the town for football, for little league, and uh, you know, he's always fun playing against him. And um, you know, it, it was just great for him to transfer over to Norman North and uh, you know get a chance to play with them. And, um, you know, we, we had some great years here at Norman North. Dante Foster grew up in nearby Guthrie, Oklahoma, and while he may be a teammate now to Tyler and Bo, there's nothing wrong with the little regional rivalry. I make fun of them. They, they say that I played uh, eight-man football. Um, you know, I feel, like, I feel like my junior year, we would have beat their junior year season. We always make fun about it. Um, them guys over there, they're, they're good guys, so. I feel like I can joke around with them all the time, but if we would have played them, I would have gave them a run for their money. Uh, you know, having somebody from back home in Oklahoma, um, you know, it's great. You know, uh, uh, be able to come back here and, uh, you know, uh, being a quarterback, you know, having somebody that you can go out and throw to or do stuff with is uh, really good. And, you know, we never take a day off. We're always out here working hard and, uh, you know, doing those extra things that, you know, we do back in Athens. I feel like this summer's work, it gives you an extra edge to, for, the, uh, for the upcoming season. You know, there's a lot of guys that like to take time off and 
I feel like it's, it's better to work and be prepared for the season rather than take the time off. You know, this is the last preparation for camp and for the season, so we approach it as, you know, the final, final preparation, so we work as hard as we can to, you know, fix little things and try to perfect things that we need to. But yeah, I still, I still beat Tyler Tuttleton and uh, Bo up, though. On the field, off the field. Just throw that on there. They don't want to see me. Back in Athens, preparations for the start of fall camp begin to heat up. Before the Cats can start camp, they have to get to Athens. For incoming freshmen and sophomores, that means moving into their summer dorm rooms at James Hall. These were $95 if you lose them, so you just keep them holding the keys. We're in the office every night between 9 and 11. Just sign there? Yep, just sign there. Okay, good to go. Cool. So I'll see you at 345, you said? Yes. Yeah. All right. Of our dog. Uh, to get you uh, going again and, and uh, get this team 
moving, uh, moving forward and getting fall camp uh, started. So I think you did a great job in picking out uh, the, the theme of unfinished business. Um, obviously, last, um, last season as we played in the MAC championship game, it was right there for us. Uh, we did not get it done. It's been a goal that uh, has eluded us, and it's time to get that thing taken care of and get that off the books. You were picked as uh, pre-conference favorites, not just on the east side, but you were picked to win the MAC, uh, MAC championship uh, by the prognosticators out there. And so, um, obviously, people will be coming at you. That's the one thing about being picked uh, on top. You get viewed a, a, a little differently. Everybody in the MAC that you play will be pointing for you because you're supposed to be the best. And so we got to understand what we're getting into and how people are going to be coming at us at a little different angle than when you're not picked as being, uh, uh, being on top. Any questions on anything, uh, fellas? All right, good job. Okay, thanks for hanging in there. Uh, For a football team to be successful, they have to be in better physical condition than their opposition. The Ohio strength staff, led by Sonny Sano, wastes no time in making sure every Bobcat is at the top of his game. 16 110-yard sprints should do the trick. Let's go, baby. First day. Time to put in that work. Guys, Bobcat player day, every practice, all right? Energy, effort, and enthusiasm, all right? Ton of effort, practice with a sense of urgency. Travis Carey. Where are you at, Travis? Okay. Yeah. All right, all right, now. All right, one last thing. Every day, we're going to take care of the locker room for locker room cleanup, okay? Since the day was Christmas, all right, we got a big day, so the locker room's probably a disaster. Before meetings, it has to be cleaned up, because during meetings, I'm going to walk through, okay? Octavius and Mario, receivers, DBs. Let's go. Let's paper, go. paper, rock, scissors. Paper, rock, scissors. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, we up here. Where we at, huh? Mario, Octavius, right here. Let's go, Super. Let's go. Here it is. Bobby, Bob. Bobby, Bob. Let's get it. Let's go. I told What? I told him. What? What you told him? Ah! 
feels pretty good to be back. Um, kind of been waiting on this on this moment um, since the bowl game, actually. Um, from the bowl game up to this point, it's been a progress up into camp and even through camp for this upcoming season. So it feels good to be back. At the end, when you look back, you know, from day one all the way to, to day 26 or 20, 21, whatever it is, it's looking back and um, seeing the progress that you made. All the progress that the younger guys make, it's, it's just a pretty good feeling to, to see that going into the season. I, I mean, I've never experienced this before. It's because um, I'm a freshman and uh, coming in here is really like uh, busy, hectic, but I mean, it's what I wanted to do. I wanted to come here and I'm gonna work hard. It was just exciting to see everybody and we all knew we had to go to work, so it was time to go. Every day gotta be a work day, baby. Hard work on three, one, two, three. Hard work. Only 26 days remain until the Bobcats open the 2012 season at Penn State. 26 days to work harder, to get better, to be relentless. Over the next five weeks, you've been granted an all access pass behind the scenes of a Division I college football program. We'll show you everything. Tune in each week as Ohio continues training camp in preparation for the 2012 kickoff at Penn State. Get ready to experience Ohio football like you've never seen it before. This is Relentless.